want to outperform everyone, great. You want to make it big, achieve your dreams and reach your true potential, get a job offer from Pixar and get drafted by MAPPA? Good. But let me tell you something, most people just daydream and live below their potential. They're stuck in a cycle going nowhere. If you're serious about changing that, you need to attack art. Not just drift through it. I've been where you are, stuck and frustrated. I turned things around by mastering three simple things. If you make it to the end of this, I've got a bonus tip that could change everything for you. Listen up because this is going to be a brutally honest video. Now lock in. Number one, consistency is king. Most people fail at art, not because they don't try, but because they don't keep trying. They start strong, but then fall off. Why? They don't understand that success requires a complete change in how you think and act. You're not failing because you're lazy or unmotivated to draw. You're failing because you don't stick with it. I used to be in the same shoes. I'd get all fired up, super productive for a while, and then boom. I'd crash. I'd wake up early, clean my desk, practice art every day and feel like I was on top of the world. But then I'd slip up. One little thing would go wrong like staying up late to watch a movie. And that would be the start of my downfall and before I'd know it, I'd be back to my old unproductive self wondering what actually went wrong. Here's the truth bro, you can't afford even one slip up, not one. It's like a tiny tear in your shirt. Ignore it and the whole thing will eventually fall apart. You need to find that one weak spot in your routine and guard it like your life depends on it. Number 2. Use boredom as fuel. Boredom isn't just your enemy, it's a tool in fact. Most people run from boredom by scrolling on their phones, TikTok, Instagram, WhatsApp statuses or playing games. But here's the thing. If you let yourself be bored, sit with the boredom, it will reach a point when you'd rather do something productive than just sit there. I used to fill every boring moment with mindless distractions, but once I forced myself to sit with that uncomfortable feeling, I found the motivation to get things done. Boredom became a trigger to work on stuff I'd been putting off, like learning to draw backgrounds. If you use boredom right, it can push you towards productivity, not laziness. There's even a study that shows people would rather shock themselves than sit with boredom. That's how powerful it is. So next time you're bored, don't reach for your phone, let it push you to do something worthwhile. Number 3. Set higher standards for yourself. It's easy to stay where you are when your standards are low. If you're okay with mediocre art, then that's exactly what you'll get. But if you want to outperform everyone, you need to raise your standards. How you draw one thing is how you do everything. If you're doing a subpar job with drawing hands, it's going to show up everywhere else. Stop making excuses as to why the poorly drawn hand isn't so bad and start expecting more from yourself. When you say higher standards, you stop relying on excuses and you start holding yourself accountable. This isn't about being hard on yourself, it's about wanting more from yourself in every area. Drawing hands, backgrounds, perspectives, anatomy, faces, everything. When you raise your standards, your goals get bigger and better too. And the most important thing, trust the process. Like imagine Sam Dodat quit art after his first week or two, he won't be the artist we all know and love. Fast forward years later and his art is now an empire. <laughs> empire. As I was saying, you can be super consistent, push through boredom and set high goals for yourself. But if you don't believe in the process, all that hard work won't mean much. The part to outperforming everyone else isn't quick. It takes time and effort. There will be moments when everything feels boring and it seems like you're doing the same things over and over. You'll face distractions, challenges and people who doubt you, that's the fact. But the most important thing is that deep down you have the belief that your goal is worth it. Without that belief, all the effort you put in won't feel like it's paying off. The people you're trying to outperform aren't just sitting back, come on. They have their own arts goals and ambitions and hard work is how they deal with them. 
to outperform them, your motivation has to be just as strong or even stronger. You need to find what truly drives you to create art. What exactly excites you and makes you want to keep going, even when it seems that your art skills have been the same for the past months. Once you figure that out, let it fuel you. That is what will push you through the hardest times. This won't be easy. It's going to take more effort than you might initially think. There will be times when you feel like quitting, but when that happens, remind yourself that consistency is key. When the work gets boring, that means you're making progress. You're doing the things a lot of people aren't willing to do. While they get distracted or give up, you're getting better. By setting high standards for yourself, you set yourself apart. All I've said all works, but it's not the most effective way to improve your art. Watch this video to find out what I mean.